You guys might remember this, Ames. I filmed this back in 2018. I love this one. This was like a flagship store to me personally, even though this wasn't their flagship store in general. The fact that after all of these years, it still remains like this. It's just it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I've been to several aim stores, especially the one in Horseheads and the one in Wrightsville, New Jersey, that still had the lettering all up. But this one just takes the cake. And as you can see now, this parking lot is filled up with a little makeshift flea market. And as well as all the other stores. Mm-hmm. All the other stores are abandoned here, but they're still used up by this flea market, including the old Chuck E. Cheese. But well, we're back here not only because we wanted to check out this flea market, we wanted to check out the Ames again. I wanted to see how it looked since it's been two years, but you will not believe what happens. Look at the front where it says Ames real big. Wow. Good old Ames. Oh my gosh. The alarm's not even going off anymore. If you want, I understand if you want to just hang out there. Oh my gosh, look at the registers here. I just hear water dripping everywhere. Here's an old register light. Oh man, this floor is so soggy in here. Literally, it goes squish under my feet. Oh my gosh. The parking lot lights are right here. Holy smokes. What's in here? Oh my God, it goes upstairs. I'm upstairs. Holy crap. <laughs> this place is bad. Oh, Jesus. Birds, birds. Huh? Okay. Holy smokes. There's pigeons, they scared me. <laughs> Look at this, out into the sales floor like that. Wow, they cleared out a lot of the merch. If there was merch. Okay, so there's water dripping down that way. I don't really know how good the floor is gonna be. There's an aim smock in a bag, two of them. Things are so moldy. Yeah, I don't trust going back that way. It's really bad looking. That floor could give out. I can't believe the aim smocks. 
Let's go back downstairs where we know the floor is solid. It's up here, it's pretty, pretty bad. Maybe if there's steps over on that side, I don't know. These were clearly offices up here though. See you downstairs. Okay. Someone had a makeshift ramp in here. Man, these ceiling tiles are so soft. I don't like walking on them. <laughs> My light panel's dying. <laughs> wow. This place is so bad in here. I've never seen so much mold. This is way worse than the Ames headquarters. And before you guys ask, the door was just open. We just walked right in. You okay? This is easily the moldiest place I've ever been inside of in my entire life. Easily the moldiest. There's so much merchandise in the back, I remember that. Oh my gosh. Oh, man. It's bad in here, guys. Again, keep in mind, the door was open. We just walked right in. We are only taking pictures and video, nothing else of anything. We're just explorers. We're here to respect the place and leave. Just admire it. So don't come here causing any trouble. It's not worth it. There is an outdoor flea market too. I hear pigeons. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all the crap back here. Holy smokes. Look at all of the merchandise. Holy hell. I can't even walk back here. There's just so much stuff. Wow. It's really that bad though, but holy smokes. Just be careful, Kayla. Oh my gosh. It's so damp in here too. This is a dead end back here. That's a dead end. Jeez. Where are you at, Kayla? You bought, where are you at? Okay, yeah, it's pretty bad back here. Yeah, guys, I, uh, you know, we're wearing protection to be in here. We're wearing pretty good respirators and even with those, it's hard to breathe. So, I don't advise you coming in here. Holy smokes, I guess this was customer service. I'm trying to watch my step. It's so bad in here everywhere. Yeah, I guess this was customer service, I guess. I assume. Electronics. 
This was the electronics counter. I hear pigeons in here. <laughs> Let's take a peek in here. I think this goes back upstairs. No, it's just a closet with peg hooks <laughs> and garbage. Huh? Yeah, hold on. I'm on my way. Hear all the pigeons in here? I want to get out of here. It's pretty, pretty damn bad. You okay? Huh? What? There's so much up there. There's pigeons up there. No, there were people up there. I heard a guy's voice saying, look at him. Yeah. No, there's no way. I heard a guy saying, look at him. Well, we're heading out. There's nobody up there. There's pigeons up there. Manufacturer's rebate center. Holy smokes. I can't believe the door was just open. Wow. Never seen one this bad before. Yeah, the sooner I get out of here, the better, because it's really gross in here. I know it's pretty dark, too. I'm trying to watch my step, I can't hardly see. There's customer service back here. Holy smokes. Just had water drip on my shoulder. I thought I got a change of clothes. <laughs> oh man, that register light. That's a shame. Here's their back room. Look at that. Holy smokes. So this was, if it had the red AIM signage, that tells me this was an AIM's most of its life. If not all of it, it wasn't anything else. I just can't get over all the merchandise in here. It's unbelievable how much is in here. And, like, I believe this is actually Ames merchandise, too, that just didn't sell when they went bankrupt in 2002. Look at all the signage. Oh, my gosh. Look at all of that signage back here. There's the liquidation signs. Wow. All right. I think it's time to get out of here. Chuck E. Cheese cup. 
unreal. I did not think we would get in here. It, it wasn't even hard to do. It honestly wasn't. The door was just open. We just walked right into the building, literally. We haven't touched anything, nothing. And we're leaving this place exactly the way we found it, even though this place is a total disaster. Here with the utmost respect. Oh man. Sorry if the camera is a little bit shaky. It's just hard to walk around in here because the floor is soggy everywhere. And um, it's really just hard to do this. Wow. Unbelievable. What a find though. The alarm is finally silent after all those years. Here's a register lane right here. Oh well, so much for Ames. What's happening? Consumer Information Center. It's pretty nasty back here too. These are the restrooms. There's really nothing to see back there. It's pretty bad and Honestly, Kayla and I both just want to get out of here. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, like, it's the worst place we've ever been inside of. Believe me, we've been in a couple places that come close, but nothing comes to this. Nothing. Believe me. Mm-hmm. Wow, what an explorer. I forgot about this sign being here just off the side of the highway. And then, when you get over here, there's Ames lurking in the background. Crazy. Well, we hope you enjoyed this tour of the Ames here. I can't believe we were able to get inside it. And keep in mind, guys, like we said in the video, we just walked right in. I don't advise you come here and go inside of it. It is the worst condition Ames I've been in yet. It makes the Ames headquarters look like child's play. But anyway, thanks for watching again. Really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, Please subscribe to the channel for more content. And as always, guys, take care, stay awesome, and on Kayla's beh behalf, have a Kmart-licious day, or an Ames-licious day. <laughs> Bye, everyone. We grew up in a small town. Discount department stores started in Southbridge, Massachusetts. We grew up with better value. Where we learned the value of keeping our prices low and the quality of our merchandise high. We learned a lot in that small town. So visit your nearby Ames. You'll find great values and a little bit of Southbridge waiting inside. We grew up with better value.